Today we're going to talk about order of operations. I like to think of it as please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. That's how I learned it. It's PEMDAS. Um, which means parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract. Okay, so when we do this, we're going to think of it like this. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay, and you're going to see that we have parentheses on top, exponent second, multiply and divide are on the same level with an arrow going from left to right, and add and subtract are on the same level going left to right. And that is because multiplying and dividing, you don't do always do multiplying before dividing or dividing before multiplying. It's always in the order that they come. Same with adding and subtracting. So we're going to do some examples. Okay, we have 48 divided by 14 minus 12. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to write our PEMDAS over here. Please excuse my dear... Aunt Sally. Okay, and we're not going to be dealing with exponents, but first thing we're going to do is look for parentheses. Are there any parentheses? Yes, there are. So we're going to do what's in parentheses first. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just underline that. What is 14 minus 12? Okay, 14 minus 12. If you're not sure, come over here and do it. 14 minus 12, and that would be 2. So that's 2. And I'm going to go ahead and bring everything else down. Okay, so I've done my parentheses. Are there any exponents? No. So I'm done with that. Multiplication or division. All I have is division. So now I'm going to do 48 divided by 2. Okay, so I need to actually come do that. I'm not going to try to do that in my head. So 48 divided by 2. 2 goes into 4. 2 times, 2 times 2 is 4, subtract and I get 0, bring down my 8, 2 goes into 8 4 times, 4 times 2 is 8, subtract and I get 0. So my answer is 24. Okay, let's do a harder problem now, because there's nothing left to do on that one, so let's do another problem. Okay, this says 16 minus 14 plus 25 times 30. So the first thing I'm going to do is to come over here and write my PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So the first thing I'm going to do is look, do I have any parentheses? Yes, I do. It's 25 times 3. So I know 25 times 3 is what? 75. So I'm going to go ahead and copy everything else just like it is. Okay, is there any other parentheses? Or done with parentheses, there's none left. Are there any exponents? No. Okay, multiplication and division, I don't see any. Addition and subtraction, I do see some addition and subtraction. Now I'm always going to go from left to right. I'm not going to do always addition and then subtraction. And in this case, what comes first? Subtraction. So I'm going to do my subtraction first. So I'm going to do 16 minus 14. 16 minus 14 is what? 2. So I have 2 plus 75. Now all there's left to do is 2 plus 75, which is what? 77. My answer is 77. Okay, let's do another problem. Okay, the next one says 7 plus 48 divided by 18 minus 16. First thing we're going to do is we're going to write our PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So first thing I'm going to do is look, are there any parentheses? Yes. 18 minus 16. So I'm going to underline that. And 18 minus 16 is what? 2. So I'm going to write that. And then I'm going to bring everything else down exactly where it was. Okay, so are there any more parentheses? No, so I've done that. Exponents? Nope. Multiplication or division? Yes, there is a division problem right there. So that's what I'm going to do next. 48 divided by 2. Don't try to do that in your head. Do 48 divided by 2. 2 goes into 4 how many times? 
2, 2 times 2 is 4, subtract, get 0, bring down my 8, 2 goes into 8 4 times, 4 times 2 is 8, subtract and I get 0, so that's going to be 24. Okay, is there any multiplication or division left? No, so I'm done. Next will be add or subtract. Is there any addition or subtraction? Yes, I have 24 plus 7. So I'm going to come over here and actually work that out. 7 plus 4 is 11. 2 plus 1 is 3. So that is going to be 31. So the answer to that problem is 31. Let's do another problem. Okay, the next one says 8 plus 1, in parentheses, plus 9 times 7. So again, the first thing I'm going to do is write my PEMDAS to the side. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So first is parentheses. I check, are there any parentheses? Yes, 8 plus 1. So 8 plus 1 is 9 plus 9 times 7. Okay, are there any parentheses left? No, so I'm done. Are there any exponents? No. Is there any multiplication or division? Yes, 9 times 7, so I'm going to do that next. What is 9 times 7? 63. So I'm going to bring everything else down. So now I have 9 plus 63. So 63 plus 9 is 12. I carry my 1. 6 plus 1 is 7. So that is going to be 72. Let's do a more difficult problem. Okay, 4 times 3 divided by 2 plus 1 plus 2 times 6. Wow, that's a lot. First thing I'm going to do is write my PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. First thing is, are there any parentheses? Yes, so I'm going to do that first. 4 times 3. What is 4 times 3? 12. So that's 12 divided by 2 plus 1 plus 2 times 6. Notice I'm copying everything exactly how it was. Okay, except all I've done is combine just the underlined part one step at a time. Okay, so are there any more parentheses? No, I'm done with that. Any exponents? No. Multiplication and division. Notice we've got the arrow left to right. We always do it in order of left to right. It doesn't matter if it's division or multiplication first. Is there any multiplication or division? Yes, there's both. So which one comes first? The division. So I've got 12 divided by 2. Okay, what is 12 divided by 2? 6 plus 1 plus 2 times 6. Okay, is there any more multiplication or division? Yes, there is. 2 times 6. What is 2 times 6? 12. And now I'm going to copy everything just like it was. So now it says 6 plus 1 plus 12. Is there any other multiplication or division left? No, so I'm done. So now I'm on addition and subtraction. There's just addition, no subtraction. I know we can do 6 plus 1 plus 12 without showing it all, but we're going to still show every step. So the first one we're going to do is 6 plus 1, because that's first. 6 plus 1 is 7 plus 12. Now all I've left to do is 7 plus 12. If you don't know it, come to the side and do it. Don't try to do it in your head because that's where those mistakes happen. 7 plus 12 is 19. So my answer is 19. Okay, we're going to do this last problem. 120 minus 40 divided by 4 times 6. Okay, we're going to go ahead and first thing we're going to do is write our PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear... Aunt Sally. And I'm going to look, are there any parentheses? 
No, so we're done with that. Any exponents? No. Any multiplication or division? Yes. We have both of them, but we're always going to do it in order from left to right. So even though there's multiplication, we're going to do the division first because that comes first. So I'm going to start with 40 divided by 4. What is 40 divided by 4? 10. So that's 10. So I'm going to copy everything else just exactly how it is. Okay, am I done with multiplication and division? No, there's a multiplication problem left. So now I'm going to do 10 times 6. That is 60. So I'm going to copy everything exactly how it is. Now I have 120 minus 60. Okay, I'm done with multiplication and division. All I have left is subtraction. So I'm going to do 120 minus 60. Okay, and 12 minus 6 is 6, so my answer is 60. Hope you're at least a little bit more familiar with the order of operations.